Okay, so uh, in this video, what we're going to be doing is showing a uh, counter. So there's a, uh, a countdown or a count up feature. So the counter is very important to understand what you can and can't do with this. Um, reason being is because obviously you can do both, right? You can count up or you can count down. So again, you can show which one you want to do. Um, you can like uh, you can hard code these like you can put a one here or one here and not choose to use uh, any external bits whatsoever um, I like to use both uh, you know I like to leave them out out there and active because it's the natural function and I like to see what you know what can be done so um, real quick I'll put a preset in there obviously uh, with every uh, counter uh, timer or anything like that you it's best to have a preset We'll just put a, a generic preset of, uh, let's just say, 100. Um, we won't put a reset right now. Uh, obviously, we're gonna, we'll probably come back and add that that type of stuff later. So, uh, real quick, what I I kind of like to do is show you that let's just say uh, that we wanted to use this reset button or this reset light. Uh, to count up right so we'll just copy that paste it in there um, normally you wouldn't use the same you know you would just drag it down but to, for the sake of argument and the sake of keeping everything nice and clean we'll keep it as uh, counting just like it is now um, if I leave it counting just like it is right now it's going to count up and it's going to go to a 1 the, the DN will go to a 1 as soon as it counts over a hundred um, obviously that's not going to take very long because it's it's counting you know every second so a hundred seconds it should you know time out to our, our time out our count up and count to um, uh, put the done done bit on and you'll see the uh, ACC come on as well so what we can do uh, we can do a reset uh, or we can count we can choose to count down at that point in time so we can say uh, if that is the case uh, and I'll tell you what we'll let it count at this point we'll just go ahead and let it count so you can see so you'll see that every time the reset button is coming on which is every second that it's counting um, right here so as soon as it exceeds 100 the done bit will come on when the done bit comes on again, uh, it's just like a normal uh, counter in uh, ladder logic. Um, it's just basically function block. And but the, the the beautiful side to it is, I think, is that you can actually use uh, a counter up or counter down. So let me explain that just a little bit more. So we can say that uh, if we choose to uh, let's just see. I'll tell you what, we'll do this. We'll we'll come in and well, oh, and I actually did that. Put that back up there. We'll start a rung edit and we'll take this out. And then we'll say uh, we'll do favorites and then we'll do a or uh, Actually, let's do um, a not, and let's say, <clears throat> let's say count up, and make sure we use a bit level here, and then we want to say uh, if the reset is on. And the count, let's see, we'll do the count up, and then we'll do the count on again, like the up here as well too. So we'll basically copy this, and all we're going to say instead of instead of using either or, um, you know, we basically want to say that you know, so we want to come in and do this, paste. Uh, we want to say if if the count up is on, we'll allow 
it to count up. If the count up is off, then we'll count allow it to count down. So with that, that focus, we'll move our, our counter down here to keep it more in line. And then we'll, we'll throw a couple ands in there. Uh, what we'll do is we'll shorten these ands to uh, basically a uh, representation of just two ands. So this and this will equate to this. So this will go up. And then this and this. Uh, so we'll come in and do this. And then we'll say if it's not counting up then we want to still use our light and we want to allow it to count down so so basically now it should start counting down do you see it start counting down so um, what's happening is obviously I, I don't have the count up on so if I cut this bit on then it will start counting up because I actually have this and this happening and now it's going to start counting up. So we'll let it count up until it finishes um, its 100. Uh, basically it'll go through and, and uh, do the done bit and as soon as the done bit comes in what we can do is uh, we could have had that trigger I mean we could use the done bit to trigger uh, you know a positive one or you know something in, into the make it automated or something as far as the um, the count up or count down but in this case we know we just want to use something very simple um, you know so okay so we're at 99 and now we're at 100 so the dumb bits on we're still going to be counting because uh, we don't have a reset correct so uh, in this case now if I go back to um, the count up bit and turn it from a 1 to a 0 then it will start counting down so now it's going to be counting down and as it's counting down now the done bit goes off because we have now uh, went below the threshold that we have with the preset so that kind of you know clears that up what we can do too as well is we can kind of move all this stuff move all this stuff over here and that way it's kind of more obvious on what it's doing and kind of out of the way so don't don't limit yourself to say that you know you can't um, you know select everything and just move everything all at once because you can easily do that like if you wanted to just you know move everything so that's that's kind of another good feature of function block as well so again this is um, a good representation of uh, a, a counter you know whether it be counting up or counting down um, and that's just something that you know that you can use it's just a small illustration for those who again this is for those who are seasoned in this stuff I mean this is probably nothing new to you uh, just another video to watch uh, for those of you that it just are kind of wanting to know how to use um, a counter in function block then this is probably pretty helpful to you so again either way uh, I really do appreciate everybody's support and um, again thank you for supporting my channel my websites and everything and um, again my Facebook uh, all those links will be below so if you feel that you would like to uh, you know uh, join one of my groups uh, whether it be my website or my uh, Facebook feel free um, you know it, it's just there for you to, to as far as support and there for you uh, as far as training so I, I'd like to just throw that out there and if you haven't um, please subscribe because honestly this is why I do this is trying to build a platform and a, a better atmosphere for everybody to learn from so um, and obviously it, I, I'd like to get your feedback too I always ask for your feedback you know what you'd like to see whether you know whatever kind of programming or training or anything you'd like to see um, you know and that all rolls down to the limitations that I have but um, as far as limitations of what kind of soft or what kind of hardware I have so I've been taking so far I've been taking all the proceeds from my Udemy courses and trying to buy um, equipment so that I can actually do better training but uh, obviously that's um, that's kind of 
it, it, it's really kind of hard because I'm, I'm kind of limited on that too. So again, though, thank you for your support and um, feel free to check out the links below. Thank you.